At a time when tensions between East and West ran extremely high during the Cold War period, 1947 to 1991, and another major war in Europe seemed all but inevitable, the Soviet Union invested heavily in frontline rocket projecting weapons to stave off an attack. One such development of the period became the 8x8 wheeled 9K52 Lunar M battalion level mobile battlefield rocket launcher carrying a single large rocket over the modified chassis of a ZL 135LM military truck. The rocket was capable of unleashing conventional, chemical, and nuclear payloads at range, reaching speeds of Mach 3 in flight, and could touch targets as far out as 40 miles. The vehicle was initially developed, under the designation of 3R11 and 9R11, as a nuclear-capable solution to deter any advanced from the West, mainly in and around East Germany, but were later converted to a conventionally minded variant to better serve a Soviet frontline assault. The vehicle was known to NATO as Frog 7 and remains in limited use worldwide. In practice, it proved inaccurate, sensitive to weather, environment, and required a resupply vehicle on hand to replenish the single shot rocket component. As such, it was eventually succeeded in the Soviet inventory by the more effective OTR 21 Tokar NATO SS 21 Scarab of 1976, detailed elsewhere on this site. First use of this battlefield system was by Syria in 1973 during the Yom Kippur War against Israel. They remained in inventory long enough to be used in today's long-running civil war by Syria. Major rocket variants of the line included the nuclear-minded 9M21B, the conventional 9M21F, high-explosive, fragmentation, HEFRAG, and the chemical-capable 9M21KH. The 9M21E offered cluster munition capability and the Lathe 90 was the version used by Iraq in its wars against neighboring Iran and, later, the West. The PV-65 designation covered training systems. The 9K-52 series had a prolific reach for its time, utilized in conflicts ranging from the Soviet-Afghan War, 1979-1989, and Iran-Iraq War, 1980-1988, to the Syrian Civil War, 2011-present, and the Yemeni Civil War, 2014-present. Its reach was such that it is still found on some battlefields today. Active operators include former Soviet Russian allied players such as Algeria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Belarus, Cuba, Egypt, Libya, North Korea, and Ukraine. Former operators of note include Czechoslovakia, East Germany, Iraq, Kuwait, Poland, and Romania.